<laughs> um, not that way. Oh, we can talk to them. I'm surprised that people like you were able to enter the castle. Yeah, okay. Hey you, who gave you permission to come here? We brought the sacred wood, but then we were asked to aid with preparations for the prayers. It was an order from the Pope. The Pope? Just a moment, I'll ask. Sorry about this. What's going on? Huh? You, it's you people. Ah, you're the one we met in... Chosen. Do you know them? Chosen? Well, I don't know if I'd say I know them. Just what are you people doing here? So you're the Tetheala's chosen of mana? What? This guy's the chosen? What do you mean, Tetheala's? Are you from Silverant? Yes, we are. These are the people from the Declining World. Princess. Have no fear. Um, what's your name? Lloyd. Lloyd, for what purpose have you come here? We've come to deliver this letter. It's from Sheena of Mizuho to the king. Sheena? What's your relationship with Sheena? Sheena? Your majesty. Please forgive us for causing a disturbance in your presence. Boy, give me the letter. Here it is. People of Silveran, wait in the other room for a while. Caster, show them to the Crimson Chamber. Yes, your eminence. They're making us wait a long time. They must be preparing to kill us. To them, Colette is an obstacle. If things turn out like that, what will become of Prasea? We'll have to find some way to let her escape. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, Prasea. Sorry to keep you waiting, travelers from Silverhands. So, you read the letter? You want us to use Seth Allen technology to save the children from your side, right? Colette has lost her soul. She'll lose her life as a, as a human if she stays this way. But as long as the Chosen lives, our world teeters on the brink of destruction. Just like Rain said, wait, please listen to what we... I don't want to hear it. Get them. Damn, they can't even scratch her. See, I told you. They have x spheres Of course they're powerful. Hmm, you're not as dumb as you look. Impudent little brat. What would you say to making a deal? A deal? Colette lost her soul because she was re being reborn as an angel in order to save Silverant. But as long as she does not become an angel, Silverant will not be saved. I see, so if we save the Chosen, Tetheala will be saved as well. That means you'd be abandoning Silverant. Here. Professor, what are you saying? Our priority right now is to save Colette, is it not? But abandoning Silverant... Alright, that's fine. Is it okay to decide something like that so easily? Right now, the most important thing is to save Colette. That's why we came all the way to Tetheala, right? Is there internal discord? Nope. We'll do as the professor suggested and make a deal. Please tell us how to save Colette. Hey, Pope. These guys don't go back to Silverhand. Then it doesn't matter if they're all alive or dead. They can't com complete the regeneration ritual. 
So I'll go along and keep tabs on them. That should be fine. If you insist, chosen one. Then you'll save Colette, right? Well, we'll do what we can. Anyways, I swear my name as Zelos, the Chosen. I'll give you permission to travel to Theala, but only under the Chosen's observation. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Okay, that's fine. Then it's settled. I'm going to get ready so we can meet up later. Where do you want to meet? Hmm, how about the Martel Cathedral? All right. Then, Chosen One, please report to His Majesty. You got it. See you later, my gorgeous lady. Cute Chosen and Tiny Rosebud. Oh, and you, servant boy. Okay. That worked out. Let's find our way downstairs. There we go. Um, don't think we're supposed to go to the dungeon. Church. There you are. Yo, Lloyd, you're finally here. Uh, Zelos, right? Yep, yep. I'm the great Zelos Wilder, but you can just call me Zelos. We're gonna be traveling together for a while, so uh, let's be friends, okay? He sounds like he doesn't take anything seriously. Let's see, putting aside the two guys, this and then this cool cutie here would be Colette. And then who's this little one? Prisea. She helped us sneak into the castle. The little one isn't from Silveront? Ozette. Ozette? That village out in the boonda? I mean, out in the forest? Ah, oh, that's so sad. You're being used by these uncivilized barbarians. Who are you calling uncivilized barbarians? Hey, 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 don't get mad. Especially after all the trouble I went through to contact the Imperial Research Academy for you. Not bad, Zelos. I know. Using the Research Academy requires permission from the King. But when the great Zelos speaks, His Majesty listens. Since you're going to be keeping tabs on us, I'd certainly expect that much. You're an obnoxious brat, you know that? <laughs> Going to the Imperial Research Academy is fine, but can we have you free Prisea? Surely you don't need to keep tabs on her as well. No. The Imperial Research Academy and Ozette are both on the continent across the sea, so we can just drop her off when we go. I agree. That's a great idea. Is that okay with you, Prisea? Yes. Okay, then. Where should we go? To Cybac. It's on the other side of the Grand Tetheala Bridge. It's northeast of here. Imperial Research Academy. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Let's go, everybody. Okay. So, let us switch up Venus for Zelos. And what does he even have? There you go. Give you all of, uh, What's his name's old gear? Reduces duration of stun, protects against stun. There you go. Perfect. I probably should look around for shops now that I think about this.
Like, there's gotta be a weapon shop around here somewhere, right? This looks like items. Let's try this way. All right, there's an inn. We got the slums? Yeah. Not where we're wanting to be right now. This is the Elemental Research Laboratory. Research on summon spirits and mana takes place in the basement. Thanks to Sheena and Corrine, our research left forward. But now that they're gone, we've come to a complete standstill. Since we stopped using the man-made summon um, spirits, Corrine, as an experimental subject, our summon spirit research has stagnated. And after Corrine, we failed repeatedly in creating any other artificial ones. Hmm, what to do? The power to produce... The power produced by summon spirits should be essentially the same as mana. Then, even if mana were to be lost from the world, if we were to use the power of the summoned spirits, we might be able to preserve the world. Sounds good. Alright, I guess we'll just move on then. a huge bridge. Listen to me amazed, bumpkins. This is the greatest drawbridge in the world. It connects the continents of Altamira and Fuji. Its control system incorporates 3,000 X-spheres. 3,000 human lives. Hmm, what? What's wrong? What's with those faces? I suppose we'd better tell you. That's a pretty sobering story. Is that really true? Do you think like we make something? Do you think we'd make up something like that? Oh well, even so, it's not like the dead are going to come back to life at this point. It's always best to put things to look on the bright side of things. I can't tell if he's a positive thinker or just doesn't care about anything. Since you're we're on the subject. You and Perseia both have x spheres too. Does everyone have x spheres in this world? It didn't sound like it from the way Shia talked about that. Hmm, nope. I got this from these guys who called themselves the Renegades. They distributed quite a few of them to Sheena and the uh, Apple Knights and such. And Perseia? Beats me. Well, little one. He's so talkative. Oh, please don't make me run across this. <laughs> You're going to make me run across this whole bridge. Well, then I'd like to take this opportunity to decide everyone's nicknames. What are you talking about all of a sudden? You can call me Mr. Zelos. 
Freya will be little one. Colette is Miss Angel. Lloyd is Hey You. And Genus is Brat. Gee, must have spent a long time on that one. Don't mention it. And then Rain will be gorgeous, ultra cool, cool beauty. Then Her Highness. Zelos, can't you come up with something a little more normal? The professor is professor. Hmm, professor. That does have a nice ring to it. The bewitching female teacher. Teacher. Hee hee hee. Oh, fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay, then, Professor Rain, it is. Whatever. Are we almost done? Hey, I think we're almost done. What was that? What about it? I have a feeling I've heard that name before. You sure you ain't talking about Colette? Ozette and Colette sound kind of same. Ow! You don't have to hit me. Yeah, that one was deserved. Seriously, how much longer is this going to be? Hey, there we go. Looking at those two like this, don't they look kind of similar? You think so? They hardly ever smile, you know. A girl... Just not the same without a pretty smile. Colette can't smile even if she wanted to. So don't say things like that. I'm sorry, she's touchy touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got here? Guy back. The university towns, guy back. I hate this city. Hurry to Ozette. I'm sorry, Presa. Just wait just a minute, little one. We'll be done in a jiffy, right, Lloyd? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I saw weapons. Welcome. This is the variety shop. Student, student supplies. We offer customization services here as well. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. One of those. One of these. Those. Dang, fifteen grand, huh? Okay. Customize anything. One. I can make pointed hats. Ugh, get out of here. Alright. Let's equip all of our brand new goodies. Welcome, we need upper apple gels to 20. Oh, ah. I'm broke. Darn it. 
Yep, that's all the money we have now. I don't think we had anything else to do here, right? Welcome to the Academic Resource Building. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe. This is the Imperial Research Academy. Oh, never mind. This is where I need to go. Yo, there should be word from Maltokyo. Ah, chosen one. We've been waiting for you. Please come this way. Upon receiving the reports of Colette's symptoms, we focus our attention on research data regarding the Chosen's crystal, Crux crystal. Well now, so many crystal was, so my crystal was useful. When Colette returns to normal, I'll need to make sure she thanks me generously. Crux crystals are thought to be evolved forms of x -fears. Both x and Crux crystals are lifeless beings. What did you say? Lifeless what? Lifeless beings. How should I put it? Basically, x are alive, though not in the same way we are. Yes, both of these crystals are like parasites fusing with other life forms. Parasites. That's not a very pleasant thought. When this happens, the mana within the body loses balance and goes out of control without a key crest. That's why x without key crests turn people into monsters. Exactly. In other words, since Crux crystals possess the same qualities as x spheres we summarize that Colette is suffering from a parasitical infection by the Crux. Crux's crystal. C. In which case, the ritual of releasing the seal may be promoting the fusing with the Crux crystal. Fascinating. Professor, don't talk like that after all the bad things that kept happening to Colette. Colette obtained the title of ill fated girl. Aw. Then, if she had a key crest, she returned to normal, right? Yes. She should be able to fear the control of the Crux crystal if she had a key crest. A key crest, huh? I wonder if we can get one somewhere. Gotta make a trip back to Silver Ant to talk to Grandpa. That's what we can all we can do in this town, right? Maybe. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I guess we can go to the next town, see what happens. Or not next town necessarily. What is this mark up here? This is the forest. Okay. No, there's definitely something we're supposed to be doing in this town. We must be merciless. All right. Now, where's that in? I think we can afford it now. <laughs> Perfect. 